It makes me laugh. Like I it's, knew when uh, it, I knew when it came out. The whole, Australian. Yeah, the Australian break dancing. And what what <laughs> what gets me more than anything is the the problems we had finding it. Yeah, they keep taking it off the internet for some reason. I don't know why. They took it down. Well, do. I, I I could see why. I mean, what we did see. I mean, we got the we got the the illest moves. <laughs> it looked she looked like the a illest. kangaroo on the ground, man. <laughs> we got her illest moves ever. She looked like a kangaroo on the ground. I, it looked like a. I don't know what word am I looking for to describe that what I just seen. I hear we'll just show it. Uh, <laughs> want to show it? Uh, yeah. If we want subscribers, I don't know if we should show it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, by the way, if you are out there listening, hit go to YouTube and, and subscribe. There it is. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Number one. Number one. Uh, looks like a bunch of kids at the playground. There it comes. What, what? Oh, she, did she fall? Nope, that was a move. Oh, that's a silly worm. What is, what's that, the uh, thriller? <laughs> here comes the kangaroo. That, that was the velociraptor. <laughs> yeah, here comes the kangaroo. There's the sprinkler. There's the sprinkler. There's the kangaroo. There it is. There it is. Signature Whoa. move. Oh, was she swimming? Uh, I guess. That's the crocodile. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but them guys. Look, look at it. I got the chin. <laughs> chin grab. Wow, unbe- I guess she didn't. <laughs> she didn't place, did she? No, she didn't get any points. Zero points. She got all. zero points for all that. Zero. She didn't get nothing. She went out there and did all that and got nothing. Nothing out. Not of one it. point. Wow, yeah. zero points. Yeah. You imagine the guys back when we were kids. Everybody had like a piece of cardboard. Oh, I didn't. You didn't have a piece I of cardboard? I wasn't a break dancer, no. I used to be able to do the backspin. Oh, yeah. That's about it. Can you moonwalk? I can moonwalk. Can you moonwalk? Yeah, I can moonwalk. Can you moonwalk? <laughs> no. You can't moonwalk? No. How about the side moonwalk? Remember when we, remember when we came out with the side moonwalk? Oh, yeah. I can crip walk. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. No. <laughs> I want to see it. Absolutely I not. I got to see that. Uh, that'll oh. never happen. Oh. Not on this show. No, we'll put you up at the pool again for eight hours, and you'll be crip walking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Sober Brett would never do it on this show. Oh, that makes me laugh. But I want to see Drunk it. Brett, yeah, th- 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 I turn into hold my beer, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, them guys in the 80s that I knew who could really was really good well, at that. remember the movies. Rolling over. They had movies, man. It was hitting the theaters back Breaking. in the day. Yeah, Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> what was that, the other that? one? There was another one. Uh, was there? There was like two or three of them. I know. There, they, it was Breaking, Breaking remember 2. Remember the, the parachute pants and the... Yeah, and and, and the, the 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 handkerchiefs tied on the wrist, yeah, and on the head, and on the leg. <laughs> you remember the ones got on the my, leg? Got my do rag, bitch. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. cuff their pants at the bottom. Well, right? they have totally. Uh, apparently, it hasn't stood the test of time. This type of dance, and either that or just in Australia, I don't know which. Yeah, I'm not but sure. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, those are the illest moves. <laughs> it was horrible. That's the most awful thing I've ever seen. Looked like my grandkids rolled around. Needless. Or, you, Go ahead. Your grand, your 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 three year old, three or four year old come to. You. Look here, I, I'm I'm I started gymnastics. That's what it looked like, <laughs> like half a cartwheel. <laughs> Look at me, I could do a roll. They're tumbling. <laughs> that was tumbling. Uh, well, that was. Well, she apparently didn't make it out of tumbling class. No, she didn't make it out of nothing. She quit at four. She's like 30. She don't even know what breaking is. <laughs> like back on the corner. Remember back on the corner, they'd be everybody be break dancing. They would the, for money. Even yeah, on right the streets. out in the middle of the streets, well, man. Had, They'd had, have a, all well, these, they had a little dance off. They had a little dance off. She had a little dance off there, but I don't think the other fella <laughs> knew what the hell was going on. I like the Yeah, he was looking at her like, what are you doing? But I did see what we did watch of it too. I did see some good ones though too, compared to what what I did watch. Oh yeah, with this one. But uh, you know the Chinese, they they well they're limber anyway. They can flip flop around. You know what I mean? They are man. They're little people. 
You know about little people. I do know about little people. All right, Jack. I'm little. They're limber, you know. Yeah. Oh my God! And what the well that Lithuanian girl? She was pretty good too. Yeah, the brunette. Needless there, to say, after all of that, Breakin will not be in the 2028 olympics you don't think it'll come back no they got rid of it they oh already, did they yeah they already announced after it. that show that, yeah. that was it it's gone oh, is there, there'll be a movie the australian that broke break dancing <laughs> yeah, well you can't get it on the on on the internet like it's hard to find you her. couldn't find we couldn't find the original video no, who I, keeps taking it down i think it's the australian government like <laughs> i think they're so embarrassed about what she did that they just think no we're gonna take you know it what down. it look you know what it is i you know everything over there kills you Every animal. Oh, yeah. So it looked like maybe she was trying to get away with getting away from certain bugs and snakes. <laughs> right. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. You and know what was what was the uh, the sprinkler one? Yeah, I don't even know what it was. I like the kangaroo one. Uh, the chin hold is the yeah, one. The got to have got it at the end. <laughs> got to have the chin hold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Ooh, the outfit I mean, too. She didn't even I, do I think, like the arm wave. You remember the arm wave? It was. Oh, yeah, You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like None of that. She, well, some of them did. And she didn't even spin on her head or nothing. She didn't do nothing. She didn't do nothing but wall her around. She flopped on the floor. And then she went elbow to elbow crawling. And kept pointing at something on her. I don't know what the hell she was pointing at. <laughs> I don't know either. But it I don't was know, but I don't get it. But uh, yeah, zero points. Wow. Nothing. And oh. then they revoked the breaking competition forever at the Olympics. The most hated woman in breakdancing. Yeah, right. In brought Australia. Down. She and brought down the People house. worked four years to get there. And that there, that she, she practiced that for 10 minutes in the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> I think she just made it up when she got out there. I'm so good, I'll just do it. <laughs> <laughs> they seen me before. They know what I can do. Watch they, this shit. They call me Ray Gun. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I can't I help it, man. It. I can't. I don't understand it. Like, I, I remember that there was a kid. But it's all over Facebook and everywhere. The, yeah. The, the, the pics of her. And, but oh, you can't yeah. find the video. We can't find You have a hard it. time finding her performance because it, well, whatever you want to call it. Uh, spectacle. It was a spectacle. All right. The poor guy that was with her, standing there watching her. Yeah, I, I was know. like, should have called 911. Do they have coaches? <laughs> I Is there a breakdancing coach? I hope coach? the coach grew up in the 80s if there's a coach. <laughs> well, she, apparently she lacks coaching. <laughs> <laughs> or skill. Is there a breakdancing coach? Did they have coaches? I couldn't I don't you. know. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know either. I'd like to see the guy get the gold medal, though, and then he just starts popping. Why yeah. he's got? Why he's wearing his medal? But it's gone. I also heard that they're uh, they're even talking about taking boxing out. Yeah, I have seen that. They put in <clears throat> so for twenty twenty eight. They put in baseball, which is kind of cool. Yeah, and then like cricket, a couple other flag football. Flag football's in there. Flag football will be in twenty twenty eight. Yeah, cricket and something else. Yeah, football. Speaking of football, did you see the new kick- kickoff rule? No, they're like. Ten yards apart. What? Oh yeah. Why? See if you can look it up. Why? New kickoff. Look up NFL kickoff rule. You see that? No, I want. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. The the, the uh, you seen? I seen it in the preseason games. Really? Yeah. They're not very far apart. Let's see if we can find that. There it is. A new NFL Picture kickoff. This. You're sitting at home alone watching YouTube videos. No, we're not watching them, baby. We're making them. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can find that. There it is. Look, they're five yards apart. What? That's the craziest thing ever. I'm telling you. I, I watched it during the preseason, and I was like, look, here we go. Oh, it's going to look a lot like the XFL's kickoff. 
The kicker is going to be at the 35, but the kickoff team is going to start on the other 40 yard line, only five yards away from the blocker. Five These yards. These guys won't be able to move until the ball is touched by the returner. Now, the end zone to the 20 yard line will be known as the landing zone, and this is where the returner or returners will set up. If the ball is caught in this zone, it must be returned. There are no more fair catches. Remember, this rule is to encourage returns. The return rate last year was only 22%. So to incentivize that, touchbacks are much harsher to the kicking team. So let's break that down. If the kick doesn't reach the landing zone, the ball is placed at the 40-yard line. If it goes out of the end zone or flies into the end zone and is down like a normal touchback, the ball will be placed at the 35. If it hits in the landing zone and then rolls into the end zone and is down, the ball will be placed at the 20. But again, this is all to incentivize them kicking it into the landing zone. And if it's caught in the landing zone, it must be returned. Now, what about onside kicks? Well, the actual kick will look the exact same. The only difference but is you got to tell them. Declare it to the referee oh, yeah? And then notify the receiving team. They got to tell them. There's no more surprise onside kicks. That's no more. So, do you think this rule change will be good for the league? No. All right, so what do you think? I think that's stupid. What do you think of the kickoff? I think it's dumb. Do you really? Yeah, I don't like it. Like, so, the thing I was well, well, here's the thing, I'd too. I'd rather just for... have them do. Here's the thing. Last year, the reason they're down 22% from last year is because they were kicking them all into the end zone. Yeah, pretty They much were all every... getting kicked into the end zone every Everybody time. Everybody did that. There wasn't hardly any returns at all. No, there wasn't any. Well, so there they, was they, hardly well, any. Well, they kicked from the 40. So, back them back up. Yeah, why not? Back them back up and let them kick. Back, yeah. back the kicker up. Yeah, put him on like the 30. Back him up to the 20. Oh, yeah, you can do you that wanna, too. You want to bring back returns? Back your kicker up. Yeah. Well, What's all this getting it, I, five yards apart, and they can't move until the ball's touched? All right, so what? All right, can you can you imagine how many flags we're going to have? Oh, they're going to be a pal. I would think so. They're going to be a bunch. Although through preseason, it didn't seem to go over too bad. But you, you don't like it? I don't think. I I haven't. Uh, I I want to see. Uh, I'm going to watch it a little bit more before I really form an opinion. Are on they going to put it on? Uh, is it for the? Oh, whole it's going. It's for the whole season. That's the way it's going to be. Is it really? Yeah. And you get. I don't like the onside kick rule. What the hell? I, we got to tell them. Yeah, that's stupid. That's stupid. Yeah, that's that dumb. takes away the competitive. Yeah, you're part never going to get an onside kick then. Like it's going to be. It takes away rare. from the competitive part of the game. Yeah, I don't like. You're that. always trying to hide that ball when you're running it, and you, you know what I mean. Yeah, that's stupid. So, I don't know. I don't know about the kickoff yet. I'm going to have to wait, and and uh, we'll get a ruling on it. And that. they were doing something with the 10-yard markers. Did you see that? What do you mean? They were doing using technology and getting rid of the 10-yard marker. I have no idea. Oh, you mean first, like every 10 first yards? First down, every 10 stuff yards. like that, yeah. I didn't, so there won't be no chains no more? There no, they're no? going to – well, I don't know if they're going to do that this year, but it's coming. There won't be any more chains. Oh, I haven't. I I'm haven't guessing they probably put that. something on the ball. I haven't heard anything about that. But yeah, there that is. So we went from break dancing to the new NFL kickoff rule. I'd much rather but talk about the NFL kickoff just rule. Just back up. The, just back the breaking. kicker back up. Back him up. Yeah, I think so. That's what I'd do. But I think the reason they stopped doing that is because of concussions and people getting hurt. Because you got to remember, them guys are coming full speed at that kicker who's just standing there. Okay, well, the the, the receiver, the, the, the kick returner is all the way. He's back in the landing zone, and everybody else is five yards apart. Yeah, but he, So they, you don't think he's going to be coming full speed when he comes? He's going to, but it'll give him more of a <laughs> – Give him more of a – He's uh, got a 10-yard ten ten so, yard head start. So he don't get killed. Uh, yeah, he's got a 10-yard head start. Because before, Running. they were getting killed. So let's just, I don't know. We're going to have to watch it. But there it is. You got to see that. Yeah, that I don't, yeah that's kind of, eh. And then, yeah, that's just, okay. I'd rather just see him there kick it out of the end zone. Everybody started 20. Yeah, and there's another thing. If it, it the ball rolls, all that shit, you know, it started to 20, 35. Uh, now we're back up to the 40. Yeah, I don't agree What in that. the hell is all this? I don't agree with that. Not at all. I don't know they're trying to do it's, it's it's getting as bad that's that's why people quit watching nascar because all the damn stupid rules oh yeah, now now here we're going with this now they're starting although the play clock in baseball i do like that yeah i like that too i like the play clock you know we went to that the pirate, pitch clock yeah we went to that pirate game and i was like shoot man they got headsets oh yeah the pitcher and the catcher yes so I mean, he just tells him what he wants, and yeah. Well, you got to watch though, too. People, you know, they well, they had problem with stealing the signs. Yeah, and, that was uh, the Astros. I yeah. think. Yeah, I think it was. 
Yeah, yeah, it was the Astros. And but I do like the I like the clock. Keep things moving. Yeah, because the game used to last like three and a half hours. Yeah. Now it's keeps under things, two. Keeps things moving. It's two hours. That game's so I over. I do like that. So. I do too. I really like the pitch clock. Yeah, it's worth it. But yeah, the batter's got to be in there too. He's got to be set and ready to go. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, but he can still step out. Yeah, he called time. Oh yeah, he can still step out. But it's fun to watch. Yeah, it is. Did you see the Pirates, what they're going to do with Skeens? No, what are you talking about? They're pretty much not going to pitch him. Oh, okay. Because uh, they, they, they're they not making the playoffs, so they're not going to waste him, I guess. Well, they've lo- they lost like nine straight, and then they they won two. So, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. but Yeah, I just read an article about that this morning. Definitely a, definitely a dive yeah. there toward the end. Oh, yeah, it's a dive. Definitely dive. Yeah. One yeah. guy can't do the whole thing. Yeah, no. Or two or three, you might as well say. Right. They can't compete with, like, the Yankees. and. So, we'll talk about one other thing. Uh, have you ever heard uh, – I was watching on uh, the internet the other day. You ever heard, you know, the, the, the all the Bigfoot videos and stuff that <laughs> I just saw one on TikTok. It yeah. said that Bigfoot was found in Ohio. Well, the – I don't know, but here's the thing. You, I've ne- wait, they've never wait, wait, found wait, wait. one dead. Are so, you, Are you a Bigfoot guy? No, no, no. Are no. you believing Bigfoot? You think he's real? I don't know what to think. think I don't. Real? I don't, but they've never found any bones or bodies dead on the road or dead in the woods or anything. No. But there's this one thing I was listening to called the Sierra Sounds. Okay. Have you ever heard these? No. It's in the Sierra Mountains. It, it, look it up for me. Bring it up. Oh, It's called okay. the Sierra Sounds. And it, it, it's kind of creepy, and it claims to be they're they're out in the woods and Sierra. But the video, why are all the videos always so grainy and far away? And with today, with today's cameras, don't you think we could get a hell with today's technology? We should have an interview by now, right? I yeah. mean, they at least have uh, we call it infrared, so you can see the body heat of I anything mean, in the woods. Uh, uh, Everything's always so grainy and out of focus and jerky and. Is it? Here we go. The Sierra sounds. Yeah, I think this is it. That's it. Okay, it's in the early 1970s. For night, Sierra Nevada mountains. Sounds like somebody building a house. This is in Nevada. That's a little weird. This ain't the Amazon. Yeah, that's a little weird. Think it's man-made? Think they did it on their own? I don't know. Maybe that's not all of it either. There's just it's get, it gets crazy. That's uh, all the banging and carrying on. And I've seen videos on there of them picking up whole trees and shit and throwing them. Really? Yeah, that had to be fake. Who knows? I don't. What do you think? What do you? What I do you don't believe? Know. What do you believe? I will say this: so like when I was a little kid, right? <laughs> I remember this when I was. A little I remember kid, the Bionic Man fought him on TV. I yeah, watched it myself. When I was a little kid, I was scared to death of Bigfoot because back behind the house we had nothing but woods. And you thought he lived back there? Yeah, I thought he lived back there for real. Okay, but that's just a kid thing. Yeah, I these was are little, grown men. I was probably like six. These are grown men claiming they filmed this thing. But have you actually ever saw ever saw like good footage, no. decent? Camera footage. No, it's almost like the UFO thing. Like, everybody's got a cell phone. Like, why can't you get me something real but good? But you, you see strange videos of shit in the sky. Yeah, you do, but you don't see that for Bigfoot at all. You're right. You don't see that for Bigfoot. But we don't, we, we, but here's the thing, too, about about UFO. We, whatever, whatever evidence there is, we've never seen it. The government always gets it. And then they or give claims it they have yeah. it. Uh, has anybody ever, have you ever really seen actual evidence that, that they exist? Oh, yeah. Have you? What have you seen? Oh, that pilot. First hand. 
I haven't. But okay, that that's pilot, what I'm saying. That okay, so just because we haven't seen the bones, doesn't mean he ain't out there. <laughs> you need a Bigfoot T-shirt. No, okay. <laughs> Bigfoot finder. Maybe I'll get one. Bigfoot but, finder. So you don't believe at all, or you don't exist. Bigfoot, nothing no. at all. I do think our where we live though, up in the Appalachian Mountains, is a little weird. So what do you think's out there? Why is it Haven't weird? Have you ever heard the stories about what's supposed to be out in the Appalachian Mountains? What are you talking about? You don't what know. What story? You what folklore know. are we talking oh, about? Oh, you don't know. What what's supposed to be out there? Some witch and a witch. Witch and something else. And do you believe that? No. Okay. All right. But well. have you ever been out in the woods and heard stuff that's just crazy? Well, yeah. What'd you hear? Well, you always hear crazy stuff. You always hear sounds. It, it, it could be a type of animal that you don't recognize or not sure what, what's making that sound. Yeah, I can agree with that. But I mean, most Tree of the time. Falls can, and trees do make sound when they fall in the woods. But most of the time, though, you can justify what that sound was. Have you ever heard anything while you were hunting that was like, what the hell was that? In the dark. Have you? In the dark. Yeah, but never during the daytime. No? Never seen anything during the daytime that I was curious about what it was or what was making that sound. But at nighttime, it, it, I think it's a mind. You think your mind's it's playing, a mind mind's playing trick and, tricks yeah, on Yeah, because it's dark. It's four thirty, five o'clock in the morning. It's pitch black. <laughs> All right? Even though you had a high-powered rifle in your hand, yeah, right? shit gets weird. All right? I will say that, like, going into a tree stand in the morning when it's dark, it's a little weird. But I will say that there are... Me, myself, never experienced anything. But do weird things happen in the woods? I would probably say, yeah, because the way people's mind works. Yeah. I can Just like your UFO conspiracy over there. You ever notice that all the aliens that are drawn, they're all similar. Their eyes are always real big. Yeah. Heads are real big. Bodies uh-huh. real small. Yeah, I think so. that's so, because they created that in like the 50s in them comic books. But it keeps going that way. Yeah. So I think it's what... What you're accustomed to or what you were taught when you were little or what you seen when you were little, that, that in your dreams even, and then what you see, you think you've seen in real life, if you follow what I'm saying. It's yeah, like I a understand. psyche thing. Yeah, I understand. It's already been planted. Yeah. That little seed. Yeah, I, they, all, they, they all look the same. They do. All of them. They do. So how do they tell each other apart? <laughs> right. Okay. See, all of us, we're all different. Yeah. Well, I can tell you. Well, that's Phil by just looking at you. Yeah. All right, all these cats look the same all the time. Oh, yeah, they do. All the time. They're like minions. <laughs> they're, so, little, they're little minions. And everybody always sees the same thing. And is there any clear video of an alien? Not of an alien, I don't think. So, well, okay, there we go. I've proved my point. Some yeah. crazy stuff in the skies. I, I, I'm just trying. I'm, I'm defending all Sasquatch believers and searchers out there oh, today, geez. I guess. Because, you know, we don't have video evidence of an alien either. No, we do not. Not actual concrete evidence. No, so we do not. But you think they're there. Something's there. Okay, well, something's in the goddamn woods. <laughs> It ain't in our woods. <laughs> they can keep How it. How the hell do you know? I have not seen one. If you see one out back here, you come get me. <laughs> all right, you, you go downtown Cumberland, right? <laughs> you see all kind of pigeons everywhere, right? Yeah. You ever seen a baby one? No. Oh, but do they exist? Oh, they have to be. Oh, but you've never seen one? No. I've never seen a baby so pigeon. So they, they must, have, they must That's be. That's interesting because I've never seen They a, must. I've never seen a baby pigeon. Do they must exist, though, because there's big ones running around everywhere. Yeah, they're the size of freaking chickens. Well, there you go. So look at it that way. <laughs> that makes me laugh. No, I've never seen a baby pigeon. That's Just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not there. No, I agree with that. they got to have little ones. Otherwise, there'd be no more pigeons. <laughs> That's where in the matrix and the pigeons really. And we keep real. getting video evidence. All the I don't see I don't see no bigfoot costumes for so sale good, on the internet. So do you? you? <laughs> yeah, you can get bigfoot costumes. Like realistic ones that you see yeah, on these man, videos. Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't bigfoot. He's a he's it's a wookie. Close. It's close. He's a wookie. There's a whole planet full of them guys. You remember Meet the Hendersons, the movie? Harry, Harry and the Hendersons. Harry and the Hendersons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. Remember, that was funny. Uh, I, he couldn't live with you. No. Well, you seen? No. no. Keep it as a pet, maybe. Out back in the yard. Pet, like 10-foot-tall pet. He'd have duck. 
I got high ceilings. He still ain't fitting. Hopefully they're herbivores. Yeah, I would think. I would hope. I would think they eat anything. Anything. Yeah. Including people's. Maybe. And we've never had any. See, here's another thing. We never had any, uh, like, murder scenes in the woods that wasn't explained. It was a bear. Or, yeah, know. that's true. Yeah, so maybe but they're. People maybe, go missing. Like, all missing. the time. But they in the woods and in town. They go missing. Like, just missing. You think maybe. Yeah, that that's another. That's a whole other story in itself. All these people coming up missing and without a trace. Yeah, no trace at all. Even locally gone. here, where we're at, they yeah. they still haven't found people. No, they're just gone. so. Where are they going? Somewhere. Where are they going? I don't know. Somewhere. But that's true. People just missing. They just up and van- ne- never to be found again. And so it's either the Sasquatches or your aliens. It could be the aliens. You ever I, see that movie I, Fire in the Sky? Oh yeah, I saw about that. the alien uh-huh. abduction. That guy, he, sw- he they, still they, swears by they it. They still swear up and down, all of them. So is that Bob? That Le- happened. So is that Bob Lazar? Oh, well, that guy, yeah, that guy there. He's since the seventies, eighties. He's been telling the exact same story. Yeah, but you ever notice that uh, the propaganda with him that, that that that's out there that they want you to think he's a nut job. I think they do that on purpose. That is all done by design. Yeah, they do that on purpose. Anytime anybody comes out that ever worked for the government that wants to say something that they were doing while they worked for the government are always brought about to be look like loony bins. I agree with that. That's they're, true. They're insane. They do that to everybody. Now it's not so bad, I don't think. Oh, yeah, they're still scared. Now they just try to throw them in jail. Well, I mean, That's why Snowden's not in this country. I still think that the whole, so, I still think the whole country just woke up. Well, not the whole country, but at least not half, yet. At least half of it. I think they're growing tired. The country's growing tired of the way things are currently, and they're waking up to the fact that things need to change. How's that sound? Yeah. Okay. Things definitely That's are not better. going in the right direction. So there we go. Overall, I agree with that. I do. And what what's coming? Uh, what's to come as far as it goes? As far as uh, the people behind us, how do you feel about that? I feel bad for them. So I just saw a stat the but other day. But they're going to be running things. <sighs> they're going to be running things. When you and I are old to the point that we're... Like my dad. We can't 81. do anything. He's 81. That's old. They're going to be running things. So that's, how do you feel about that? That's not going to be good. Are you nervous about that? Yeah, because they've never really had any adversity in their life. You know what I mean? Like, here's a great example. Like, we'll just take this one. So, did you ever get bullied when you were a kid? Sure. So did I. Made you a better, stronger person, didn't it? Sure. Right? Well, they took all that away to isolate kids so they don't have really any adversity in their life. I agree with that. So, Well, there's a lot more than just adversity. That includes sports. Right. Right. So, any kid who plays a sport, hey, we're just going to have fun. No. You're going to win, and if you don't win, you lose. Right? you got to be competitive in, in, so, in the adult world. I just don't think they've really had, like, our generation with our kids, wherever it started, PTAs, I don't know. You know, you just kind of have to roll with it at schools. But they don't really have the adversity that we had. Remember, no. I mean, you got in a, if you and I got in a fight at, or an argument at school, we'd meet outside and yeah, we'd finish and solve it. it. It right? don't work like that anymore. It does not work. Well, they like locking that. kids for putting kids up in jail for for fighting, right? So, I just think that they're overly protected, and what that it, and that came at a cost. Meaning, the cost we'll find out when they get older. But now we're finding out, and it's not good. No, like I, I do it's think not good. the men, at least the young men, are more feminine, and men have been more feminine than ever now. Like the young men, feminine. Feminine. In what way? Meaning they're not, they're, how do you put this? So they're more, they don't, feminine meaning, they just don't have that drive to be uh, more. You know, it's really difficult. So they're, sad, so everybody's satisfied with uh, Nothing. Like nothing or average, yeah. Like average, no, nobody wanting to be, strive to become. Yeah, I don't think they more know what, the, what they are. Like, I don't think they know what that is. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they can look at us as their parents, and we'll tell them, "Hey, you know, like that kid, 
takes them glasses off your face again, hit him in the mouth. Yeah. Right? But then they won't do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, and I, I think it's just such a hard topic because it stems from, like, dad's not being around, all kinds of stuff. So there's no real fix. So what you have now... Is there accountability? Is there well? It's a generation. I don't think there's accountability anymore either. No, but I mean, I think they're just scared. You know, what I mean, they grew up like I don't want adversity. I don't want adversity. I don't want to. So the road hard. less. Tra- so the road let's with always, least resistance. Yeah, let's always take the easy path. The let's road with this. the least. I'll just least amount of resistance. I'll give like well, that's 40, sad. Forty percent. I'm not going to go out and that's risk sad. everything I got to try and get something better. And if it doesn't work out, who cares? Well, and the, the way these, the way these kids make money nowadays too, has changed. Yes. As well, it so, has. And you know, some of that's a good thing. I think, I mean, that's changed. So, uh, well, the, the whole di- dynamic has changed for real. It really has. But, uh, as far as, uh, accountability and, uh, responsibility and representing, Others, like government should be. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Oh, I'm very nervous. Like, think of our gen. Think of our parents' generation. They had Vietnam, all right. Our generation had Iraq and Afghanistan. Right. If you you cannot take these kids nowadays and stick them in the military, or heaven forbid, be like World War II and have a draft, they're not going to go. Well, you can't they go to rather- war. You can't go to war and throw up a red card because you're fatigued right? or you're you're, yeah, you're like anxious. The, like they are, they, or you're having a fucking anxiety attack. You can't throw up a card and right. They're not going to make it. You know what I mean? They'll be like, "Put me in jail." It's better than going to war. Honest to God, I, think I believe you're right. I think they would do that. I believe you're like you can I put me in jail. Right. What, what I got to do? Five years? Okay, put me in jail. I'm fine. I believe that. you're right. At least there's a, I'm not going over there and being cold and sleeping and watching people die. I'll go to prison. I Honest to God, right. I think they'll do that. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good point. You know, I, I it's a good point. It's just a, it's not the same, you know. And you try to sit there and educate your kids a little bit, at least being a dad. Yeah. And moms are a little different how they handle their boys, but, um, and I think that's one of the main reasons too why you see more femininity in men is because, because of the father figure. There's actions. no dad; they're just raised yeah. by women, and yeah. women do the best they can. Man, they're great. But you still have when you have a son. You still have to have a father. Figure. You need to have a dad. You still you still gotta have it. You gotta have somebody. Regardless of how hard a woman tries to do it on her own, the absence of that that male figure it, it's going to have an effect. Oh, absolutely. Regardless. So and yeah, I agree. I I don't think that we're gonna. I mean, it could impress us all. Who knows? But I, it's not looking good. I uh, I'll be shocked if it all comes together. I don't think it will. I think it's going to get worse. I'll be shocked. I think it's going to get a lot worse. That's why I prepared. <laughs> that's a whole other shit. I know, but that's honest to God, though, man. That's why. Because it's not looking good. So I just saw a stat the other day, right? If you had, in 1981, I think it was 81, 82, somewhere in the mid-80s, if you made $30,000. That's good money. Do you know what that's equal to today? What is it equal to? 140000 Yeah, that's good money back then. So I was 12 years old. So I th- like, I think that's a, a combination of like our kids generation. They look at what's in front of them and there's no real opportunity for them. So think about it. Like I don't make a hundred and thirty some thousand dollars a year. No. Uh, they're going to go to college. It doesn't matter who you are. Like if you go to college or if you don't go to college, you're still not going to make a hundred and thirty five thousand dollars a year. Not out the gate. No, it's going to take you a very. You got to uh, you got to work for that. Yeah, and they gonna, don't understand that. No, it's going to take you a very, very long time to even make that. But then here's the thing. We can say that, but I don't make 134000 or $140,000 a year, and I've been working for well, that's 30 true years. Too. Yeah. So they're not either. Yeah, you're right. You're right? So by the time they get to 134000 they better their self it'll be two hundred and twenty. You know right. what I mean? Oh, yeah, double. Yeah. So they're, they're in a no-win situation. Yeah. and they Well, really, we were too. We were. and We were too. Like our generation was the first one that wouldn't do as well as their parents. But our parents had it made. You know what I mean? Like, if you made. 20- well, we're talking about the generation where the wife stayed home. Yes. But then that, but as we grew up, though, when we hit the 80s, that all changed. That dynamic changed. And that's when the latchkey kid come into effect. Yeah, I agree. Like with in that. the 70s, in the 70s, mom stayed home. She did. Mama all right. Did. In the 80s, that shit changed because yeah. the dynamic changed and the economy changed. 
and they had to go to work. So, and divorce rates went through the roof. Well, our our parents are responsible for the divorces uh, the, the, through the roof. Yep, our parents are the ones who. Basically well, you know made what it is nowadays. Eighty percent of women are the ones that file for yes, divorce. Yes, that's true. Eighty percent, and it's higher if you're an educated woman. Eighty mm-hmm. percent. They're the ones that file. They're the ones that want it. They do. Um, but like my mom, my mom didn't work, and she didn't have to work. Right. And she didn't go to work till after I started well, elementary that's, school. But that's that. Them but those days, days are, are gone. gone. So here's the thing with our kids: they hear all those stories from us and their grandparents, right? And then they look at what's in front of them. Like I'm going to come out of college and make forty, fifty grand if I'm lucky, in debt, right? Right? And then even the guy who wants to be a plumber, he he still has to go apprentice for well, you five. Or, start. Yeah, he's still got to go apprentice for five, somewhere. six, seven years. Right. But you have to remember, it used to not be that way. If you went and got a college degree, you came out and you were making way. Yeah, but that don't hold water anymore like it used no, to. No, but it not used, the degree. It did right for a very long time. So when you look at our our kids' generation, look at all the things that are against them. You know, they can't afford a home. No, not right now. They cannot afford a home. Mm-mm. The average home in the United States is over $400,000. Yes. You know, they yes. cannot afford it. Nope. I mean, the mortgage on that is probably uh, uh, $3,500 yeah, 3, a month. 3500 a month. Yeah, exactly. You know, they can't afford that. Not when you're coming out making sixty grand. You know, right. you're really bringing home freaking 1500 bucks every two weeks after right. taxes and everything else. You know, you, you can't afford that. Right. He, and I will say this. If you had two people with college degrees, you almost have to be married. You got to have both of them. Both of you have to work. Yeah, you, you almost you have, have to. Both of you have to work. You almost have to be married if you want some nice things. Like if you want a nice neighborhood, but if the, you want a these nice women, home. These women of the generation now that we're talking about, the X, they don't want to work. No. They're trying to find somebody to take care of them. Oh, I saw this one. This and one. here's the thing. You know how many, you know what the percentage of men out there is that they want and find? It's like one. It's like 1%. Yeah, somebody who makes over six figures, six foot tall. It's like 1%. It is. But that's what a lot of those exes want. Mm -hmm. They want to be taken care of. Yep. So, good luck. Yeah, I agree. You're not, that's not ever coming back. So. The, uh, the, the, what, the, the lady staying home. And caring for the home. It's gone. It's gone. It's never coming back. It was gone. And this is no joke. So it was gone when, I guess, our grandparents, the women of our grandparents' age, maybe, they entered, they wanted to enter the workforce. Because remember, they didn't. Well, they couldn't. Yeah, they couldn't. For a while. They couldn't. Yeah. So they wanted, they wanted to enter the workforce. So then what happened was, is me and you say that was us and we were the guys working. So you had all these companies paying huge amounts of money. Because they couldn't get people to work. Right. They didn't, there wasn't enough guys to come and work for them. So they would just keep up in the salary and up in the salary, you know, to get people to come and work. And then once women entered the workforce, what's that do? It floods it. So now all of a sudden. Certain it, careers, yes, yeah, it does flood. Correct. It Certain flooded ones, no. It. it flooded it. So then it brought all the wages down. And then it's just been like that ever since. Certain, certain. Jobs, yes, I can agree with that. Uh-huh. But as far as our infrastructure, our power grids, and and uh, and stuff like that, that's that's all dominated still by men. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of jobs that are dominated. Yeah, by so, men. but that's not because of women can't do them; it's because they choose not to. Choose not to do them. Exactly. Yeah, they choose not to do that. Like so, women want to choose to do different things than men, which is understandable. But as far as being taken care of now, that's that those days are gone. Oh, yeah, they're over. They're not, and they're not going to find The only it. way that would ever come back. They're all going to die old maids if they don't change their minds. I think that's. And what yep. they're looking for. Mm-hmm. They're all going to die old maids. Oh, yeah. And, you know, <laughs> well, that's because they want to marry lifestyle, well, not a person. Want, they want that 1%, Phil. They want to marry lifestyle. And they not all better learn person. to fight if they want that 1%, because let me tell you what, the fight is going to be on. Well, I just saw this TikTok the other day, and it was hysterical. So <laughs> it made me laugh. So this guy asked these women. Right? So you have two choices. One, you can pick the guy with a lot of money. You don't have to work. You can travel. You can go do whatever you want. Okay. Or you can pick the guy who really loves you, doesn't make, does it okay, does, works really hard for what he has. And the guy with the amount of money cheats. He's a cheater. He, he will 100% cheat on you. You know it's coming. Continuous. Okay, go ahead. Where the guy who 
makes a little bit, you know, does okay, scrapes by. We'll never do that. Which one are you picking? And they all pick the guy who cheats. Yeah, they don't want the good guy. They want the money. Yes, they want the lifestyle. Isn't that awful? I know, right? Isn't that awful? I saw that panel. I was like, wow. That's exactly the point I was trying to make is uh, they're all going to die old mates. Yeah, if they keep that <laughs> up. And, you know, they're, they're, and they're never going to have a home, you know, because like, they can't afford one at 400 grand a year. No. You know, it's a very small percentage of people will be able but to afford they, that they can hold their, They can hold their chin up high and say they're dependent. Oh, yeah, that's just stupid. Isn't it? That's dumb. I know it is. That's I don't just get stupid. that. I don't understand that whole whole uh, mindset. But well, I mean, it has to do probably with a lot of people their own age who have who are influencers well, I, and they see how their lifestyle and how, what they're doing. And if you could look at it from our point of view, it, it'd probably be good for us. All these old maids running around. At least we'll have somebody take care of us. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of CNAs. They, they ain't gonna, they, all they're going to do is work and go home. Yeah, right. So at least I'll have somebody to wipe my ass. Yeah, ain't that the So truth? keep that mindset, but yeah. ladies. I, you gen ladies, ex-ladies, just I'll see you in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they there there is no answer. The only thing that would happen that would change all of that dynamic is something absolutely catastrophic. Good luck. Do you know what I mean like a catastrophic event? But it, it, but it's not gonna it's not gonna have if 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 change does come it's not gonna be like overnight it everything changed gradually like in the set like I said like the seventies I remember Ma was home and then and then the divorce rate skyrocketed and and Dad left and Mom had to go to work so then the latchkey kid come yeah. along and Mom had to do work her job and try to put herself through school mm-hmm. and raise kids and do all that so. For it to come back around to that, there's going to have to be a hell of a lot more than 1% of us men it's that gonna can have to be provide that lifestyle. It'll be a catastrophic, something catastrophic that ends society as we know it. I mean, that's the only way it's going to turn around. <laughs> we got, Honestly. we got to destroy the power grid and start back in the dark ages again. What, we go back to dragging women by oh, their did hair? Did you see that? <laughs> Do you see what happens if the power grid goes out for nine months? Oh, my gosh. Did you see what God happens to the United them. States if it went out for nine months? God help them. They came out with a study, the federal government. Uh, uh, absolute chaos. I guarantee it. And within nine months, 300 million people in the United States will die. Because they can't feed themselves. 300 million. Uh, just electric. Yeah, just, just electric. Just grid. no power the electric grid. grid went out, 300 million people will die if it's out for nine months. That's sad. Right? That folks don't have the know-how to survive without a resource. Well, here's the thing, too. Like, I thought about Holy that. Cow. I was like, you know, I don't know how to keep meat and all that. And then here's the thing. If that happens, you're not getting any trucks. No. So I I was like, you're not getting salt. Where you're are you not getting find? anything. You're not getting anything. So you're kind of screwed. You're not getting anything. I don't. Yeah. It, and honestly, it's probably a really big possibility. And, and what would what you would get would be very limited. Because they would, there would be some resources, but like I say, they would be limited because people would be able to supply their own power and be able to run and stay in business for a short period of time. Yeah, for like maybe a month. Yeah, but it, that's what I mean by limited resources. Yeah, so. like here at the house, we could get by. We have generators and that right. kind of stuff. But he, but uh, once the fuel runs out, there's no gas. To, there's no gas because there's no pump to pump the gas yeah there's no water there's number no, one nothing. there's zero water there's nothing mm-hmm. there's everything's nothing. pumped and you have to go find it yeah which is crazy but we got a cistern yeah i think um <laughs> there's a pile of things like i feel and honestly i don't think if we don't experience that i'm pretty sure my kids generation's gonna what a power grid outage oh yeah they definitely will well, people have a fit when there's a rolling blackout in the cities now they panic oh yeah Could you do. imagine nine months no, I like. I'm glad we live where we live. I guess that that them EVs they wouldn't be worth the shit, would no, they? You couldn't get them out. You, you couldn't get out if you lived in a city. You couldn't get out. You wouldn't be able to get out. You have to walk out. You're not getting out. You'd have to walk out if you did. And here's the thing: how many Americans you see that are in shape? Not many. No, that's uh, that's all. That's, all, that's, that's a that whole per- other tree to bark up. And then to out right of that there, percentage, the how food ma- supply. How many men have a capability of violence? Because you're gonna need it. Oh, you're gonna need it. You're going to need it, without a doubt. Leaving that city, you're going to need yeah, it. You're going to need it. Right? And the gangs will just take over the cities. 
the the one the the people that grew up being in survival mode most of their life will be the ones that survive those types of things. Yeah, like your gangs will take over the cities in a heartbeat. They'll, survive They'll own them cities within two weeks. They oh, will yeah. own it. It'd be, and it'll be rival gangs. No You'll power see grid. That's, Bloods, that's Crips, you know, MS-13, they will run them cities. Well, what was that? We just, there was a movie just come out about all that, uh, the uh, United States being attacked. and Oh, Civil War? No, no, no. Uh, Which I didn't like. The one that was, was uh, the one that was uh, produced by Barack and Michelle Obama oh, had Ethan. Leave Hawk. the world behind. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that was uh, what uh, uh, the end of the world. Remember the Teslas uh, yeah. driving by were, herself. It and, crashing into each other. Yeah, and the deer yeah. and the animals was trying to warn us. Oh yeah, right. That's a big thing. The flamingos in the swimming pool. And yeah. Remember the deer? The deer were trying to warn them. Like basically, run. you got to go. We got to. We got. And and what was it like? Sound warfare too. One like uh, radiation yeah. sound sound warfare. So remember the kids' teeth fell out. And yeah. So, and they had a survivalist. in remember Kevin Bacon played mm-hmm. the survival guy. Remember? Yeah. remember <laughs> he was that. ready. He was ready. So. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe people should start getting ready. I don't. I know. think they should. And well, here's the thing too. Like, you see it all the time. What? What do you mean? Tell you to get prepared all the time. Commercials all the time. Everywhere. Survive. Well, look at even my so, news feed. Survival food. They're not and, telling you that for no reason. Like when we grew up, there ain't, ain't no way in the world you'd well, ever see anything like that. Panic makes money just like sex does. It does. So I agree with that. You got to look at it that way too. But panic I, sells just like sex. But then why would the government be telling you to? Make well, sure I don't have believe anything water? they say. Yeah, that's true. I don't trust them yeah. at all. Yeah, I don't anything either. they tell you, you better do the opposite. Yeah, right. Like, you know, I remember a government told the Indians one time they didn't need their guns anymore. Now look where they're at. Yeah, so right. That's true. I'm not playing that shit. That's very true. I don't do true. nothing they tell me. Nothing. It makes me wonder. Because it's not for my benefit. Never have I ever... Uh, thought that the government was looking out for my best interests oh right they weren't uh-uh. ever they're still not no so overtaxed so if they say get ready so okay. that's a good question so like freaking like the whole country started on taxes and now we are so taxed to death well they and left they, they left because they were being taxed to death yeah and come over here and then they got taxed to it was death all a bunch of the, rich men by the crown come over here and then we went into war because they tried to tax the shit out of us. And look where we're at now. I'm paying tax on 40%. the same money six times. You're paying probably 40% in tax, probably 50. Six times. So, same dollar. And then they keep talking because they keep running the country in the ground that they want to raise taxes to get more money. Like, at some point, enough is enough. At some like point, poor, you got to plug the hole on the other end. Yeah, like how poor are you going to make everybody just to do free programs? Yeah, you got to plug the hole on right? the other like end. Like if you can't afford a home, um, maybe we shouldn't be doing all the free programs. You know, if if there's money flowing out of my tax, out of my checking account, and nothing's coming back in, it, 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 I'm not going to be uh, uh, be able to survive for very long. No. They need to plug the hole on the other end. Yeah. They need to shut that shit down. And the frivolous spending, I mean, I work for state government, so I know oh, the yeah. money that is wasted. It's just wasted. So, you know, it wastes- you got to plug the hole. I mean, it's ridiculous. These, all these research projects and all this shit that they fund, and it's just ridiculous. It is. It's and, stupid. And, and, I don't know. I don't, you got to plug the hole on the other end. Until they do that, we're going to keep paying. Oh, I agree. We're going to keep paying. We're going to keep paying a lot. 